friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to open an image file from the download folder of your Android device using file provider concept from your Android app and this will do in SDK API version 34 and above. So basically, open an image file in Android API interface. Let's begin. So we'll create a new project and probably as select the empty views, click next. I can name it as open image file using file provider i know it's a bit long but yeah and then i'll choose the language as java because i'll do most in java for this i'll use one of the latest versions api 34 and rest of things i'll leave it as it is okay i changed the package name from example to programmable and i change the folder also and then click on finish and wait for the environment environment to load it may take a while so let's wait perfect once the environment is loaded i also started the app in the emulator and this is that emulator coming up so first and foremost let's start uh, with the manifest file which is the important one so in the manifest file we need to give permissions to access the image okay so before i go ahead i just like to show that in my downloads folder i have got a couple of images i guess images.jpg and all so this is what we'll try to uh, open up from our app uh, that's the target of this or objective of this uh, tutorial. So let's add the permission to read images. Probably I'll also add for video, but it's not required. Images will be sufficient. Okay, so there's some error or warning. I'm not sure your app is so so quick fix. It's a warning, so it should not be a problem, but I think it's better to suppress the uh, warnings or errors. So I think I can suppress using this. So this is basically the selected photo access. So uh, yeah, so there are two types of permission what we can give. Here we are giving the permission to the complete one. So that's fine. You can just use this and that should be fine. Okay. Now we'll add a provider to our application. So over here, I have already typed it. So I'll just paste it from my uh, clipboard. And there's an error, of course, we'll have to fix it. But before that, this application ID, we can name it anything but the best part is uh, uh, best approach is if you can give it same as a package name so package name probably uh, you can get either from uh, the gradle file or the other better option will be just go to your java code and the top part this is your package name so this is your application id is same as a uh, package name so this same thing what we can use over here uh, to replace it okay so yeah so this is done now for this xml uh, path what uh, xml file path what we have to do is we have to create a file in our xml folder okay so either we can do it manually here or we can directly just come here and create xml file and that will take care so root element instead of preference screen we can just put paths here and click on ok so this will give us the structure again here this is schema is not required in all and we have to put some external so i'll just type it quickly so this is the code what you have to put in so it's basically the name of the external path this name could be anything but the path has to be the files from which we want to access so dot means all the files otherwise it could be like a specific fi files which you want to give access in this particular app then you have to mention those complete path for that uh, files yeah so once done this so i think my uh, manifest file is done and uh, this one is also done this too so now I'll come to uh, this one. Uh, first, let me complete the layout very quickly. So in, right now, in the layout, if I open the app, it's just a hello world. So I'll do one thing. I'll put a button to trigger my method. And this button, I'll give some constraints. And I'll name this button as, no, not the ID. I'll not use the ID, but the text part of it. Yeah, this is text. So here I'll say uh, image view view image. Okay, there's the things I leave it as it is. I don't think I need this text view, so I can even delete it or I can just leave it for now. And in the main Java code, I'll quickly write a method public void button view image view 
view and I'll go back. Okay, I think I have to press Alt Enter to import the required class here. So this will get imported view anyway. I'll go to the layout back again and here very quickly in this button on click attribute I'll set that method whatever I just not defined. So if you scroll down here, you'll get it here. Perfect. So now from layout perspective, also we are done. Now let me complete this code quickly. So I have typed it uh, up front the code. So I'll just put the code very quickly here and one by one solve all the related issues. So just keep pressing Alt Enter to import the required classes like uh, classes for file, environment, file provider, and intent also I guess here. Perfect. So now all the issues are gone. So I'll just quickly explain here that so in the first line it's just taking the file. So images.jpg is a file in my download folder. So if I can go back there and this is the file which we are trying to access images.jpg and then we are fetching the file provider uh, which is basically if I go back here uh, nothing but the this package name dot file provider so if I come back to java code this is the complete package name which we got and then that dot file provider and then the particular file whatever we want to open it and then action view and then give the mime type to data and type and grant the temporary permission and set this I think that's all but yeah, one more thing what we require is the permission to access the image. So what that we can do is in on create method itself, we can add these lines. Okay, so press Alt Enter to include all the required classes and for activity compat also. Yeah. So if I scroll up, so all the required classes set these are added and all. Okay. Anyways, I'll just quickly explain. So here what it will do, it will ask request permission from the user of this app. To grant permission to read media images and video images okay so that's all let me quickly read on and see how it comes up so my app has come up and it's asking permissions to uh yeah so do allow all okay you can choose also but i recommend to do allow all and that's because of this part of the code and now let me click here and see what happens so uh perfect so this goes and fetches this particular file which is basically uh, okay, if I go to my downloads folder, this file and does it. I'll do the same with butterfly. So let me just quickly change the file name to butterfly and let me see if it works. Okay, the spelling should be very correct, otherwise, of course. Butterfly.jpg. So it's a butterfly.jpg. And let me quickly rerun this. So I think it. We done if I come back to my uh, perfect. So now it's opening the uh, butterfly image. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you this short video that you can use the action view and then of course this intent you can automatically open directly from your app any image uh, which you want to show to your end user. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.